guys, Awesome Nerd Show here, and today we are doing another unboxing of the Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty. And on the top here we have a picture of Han Solo, which doesn't really, um, I guess, tell what the box is. Which I don't even really know what the theme is. Um, I know it has something to do with, like, the Rebels. And I don't think it says anywhere. Um, but I already know what the pop is because, again, they advertised it. And, uh... So yeah, they've already kind of ruined the thing and stuff. Um, but to start off, we have our pin and our patch, and it looks like the theme may be um, Empire Strikes Back. So I guess the Han Solo does kind of fit in with that. Um, but for our pin, it is of uh, Lando, Lando Calrissian. So there's that. And then the patch, which is what well, says Empire Strikes Back, has Yoda on it. So we have, of course, Yoda before he dies. So there's our pin and patch. And then I'll go ahead and show this. The um, theme for the two months from now, whatever, is Star Wars Rebels. So there's going to be um, Rebels items in there. Um, let's see, we have our Okay. Um, so one of the items we have, it looks like, is a pair of pop socks. And we'll go ahead and open these. And it looks like it has uh, Darth Vader and Stormtroopers on it. Yeah. So, and then it has like little dots, I guess, to make it like a star background, maybe, and stuff. But it looks really cool and stuff, so I'm sure Bro will love having some socks. Ouch! And then, of course, the pop is in here taking up a lot of room. But it looks like our other item, besides the pop in here, is a stuffed animal, Wampa. One of my favorite characters from Star Wars is just the um, snow monster, the um, abominable snowman, whatever you want to call it. But it's a Wampa, of course. He has his, like, horns on the side of his face and stuff. And, of course, he's the one that... Um, beats up Luke and stuff, and Luke cuts his arm off, so it'd be cool if one of his arms would fall off and everything, um, but it's still really cool, and he's super soft and fuzzy and stuff, so they have a lot of these new um, Star Wars plushes, like it's just a Star Wars plush, um, but I've seen them advertise that they're now like coming out in the stores and stuff, so you can probably find this, maybe not this one, because it does say it's an exclusive, um, but you can find a little Star Wars character just like these made by Funko um, in stores soon. And so we finally have our pop for the month, which um, I think is really cool. But I wish they wouldn't have spoiled it, but it is um, Han Solo on a Tauntaun. So this is just super cool. It's um, a pop ride, of course. And I don't know if they've done any Star Wars um, pop rides at all. Of course, there's a lot of options too, but not like I said, I don't know if they've done any. So this is, of course, like a perfect one because not only it's not just like the normal vehicle or whatever, like a lot of pop rides are. You get an actual creature, which is like in itself a pop, and then you get a uh, console at the same time. So, sit this uh, aside and open it up. They also did Ant Man and Anthony. Yeah, I guess they did. But, um, <clears throat> um, they're not Star Wars, though. Um, but so, of course, there's Han Solo, which um, they've made a Han Solo. Uh, um, in the Hoth outfit before, which I have somewhere on the back. Um, but now they have him, of course, sitting on the Tauntaun. And then here we have the Tauntaun. He's looking right at you. Um, but it is ugly face. But remember, they smell worse on the inside. Um, but I don't know if... No, you can't turn his head or anything. But the one thing I do like about this is that Han Solo is like... Um, permanently on here where in other ones you can like take them on and off and stuff and so like when you have them sitting they fall off or they tend to fall off and stuff and so this one you won't have to worry about falling you just have to worry about the tauntaun uh, coming off the base but look as you can see it has the holes there that go onto the base and stuff and then of course the base again has the star wars um logo on it like all the um bobblehead bases do and stuff and so this is just really cool. I really like the way they did it. Like, I kind of would have liked the Tauntaun head maybe turned to the side, so that way you would have them both facing, because if you um, hold it this way like you're supposed to because of the thing, um, it you don't really see Han Solo and stuff, so you have to kind of turn it all sideways and stuff. Uh, but that's really cool. I really like that pop. Um, I wish, I want them to do more stuff like this, like very exclusive stuff like this is something I really want and so they put it in a box and so the only way to get it is by getting this box and stuff um, so that is it for all the items of course we'll go back and so there's everything on the card as you can see so you have the um, wampa plush the um, pin in the patch up here then of course the socks down here in the corner 
and then the um, Han Solo and the Wampa Pop design there and everything. So that's going to be it for um, the Smuggler's Bounty this month. Don't forget if you want to get it in two months, it's um, got the theme of Rebels. And again, they've already advertised the pop for it, but I won't spoil it for you. Um, so if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Hit the red subscribe button to see all our videos, and we will see you next time.